hello guys welcome to our channel this is EOS marketplace news my name is Alex and I will be bringing with you the price analysis as of November 12 of your favorite cryptocurrencies okay so please stay tuned for this video so that you will be um, updated and you will know the status of your favorite tokens or coins all right are you ready okay so um by the way guys i hope that you're doing great today because it's really a great day for um i'm doing great as well so just sit back and relax and i'll be giving you the details right now okay let's start so guys this um news is brought to us by pcn or preferred currency news now this is the price analysis of november 12 for bitcoin ethereum ripple bitcoin cash eos stellar litecoin cardano monero and tron all right now nikolai Storonsky, ceo and co-founder of rivulet limited a digital banking provider with a user base of 2 million has said at the web summit 2018 in lisbon that large institutions are showing little interest in digital assets any new technology takes time to catch up and become relevant to everyone even the internet took time to grow to its current scale. Consensus founder Joseph Lubin has said that blockchain might take a little longer than the internet to reach mass adoption. Venture capital investor Tim Draper, in a recent panel discussion, reiterated his previous call that Bitcoin will reach the price of $250,000 per coin by 2022. He believes that with mass adoption of Bitcoin, people are likely to switch from fiat currencies that are bound by a specific um, geography to cryptocurrencies, which in turn have universal acceptance all right so the recently concluded u.s midterm elections have seen a number of pro blockchain politicians being elected to office which is a positive sign though the market movement is low now the future looks encouraging for the nascent asset class all right so guys let's start so first btc and usd so the dip below six thousand four hundred dollars was purchased on november 11 which shows a buying at lower levels however bitcoin is facing overhead resistance from both moving averages which indicates that buying tries up at higher levels so positional traders uh, traders should avoid trading when the range is tight and shrinking a large well-defined range provides an opportunity to buy low and sell high however the btc and usd pair is not allowing such an opportunity so guys if the bulls push the price above six thousand eight hundred thirty one point ninety nine dollars the digital currency is likely to invite short covering propelling the price further to seven thousand four hundred dollars and above that to eight thousand four hundred dollars on the other hand if the bears break below the critical support of five thousand nine hundred dollars it might result um, in panic selling, dragging the pair to the lower levels of $5,000 to $5,450. Therefore, traders can keep the stop loss on their long positions at $5,900. Alright, next, ETH and USD. <clears throat> so, Ethereum is not showing any signs of a trend. The investors aren't looking to sell um, at the current levels and the new money doesn't want to enter until there is a trend so the price the moving averages and the RSI are all flat all right so the first sign of a trend will be when the ETH and USD pair escapes the tight range of 188.35 to 249.93 dollars an upside breakup will indicate that the bulls have the upper hand and a new uptrend is likely a breakdown of the range will indicate that panic has gripped the the owners and they are dumping their holdings so we recommend traders wait for a breakout of 
$249.93 before initiating any long positions. Aggressive positions can also be taken if the support at $188.35 sees strong buying by the bulls. So until then, we suggest traders remain on the sidelines. All right, so next, XRP and USD. Guys, Ripple is finding support just above the moving averages, which is a positive sign. The moving averages continue to slope up with the RSI in the positive territory. So this confirms that the bulls have the upper hand in the short term. If the bulls succeed in breaking out of $0.565, a rally to the first target objective of $0.625 is likely. So where traders can book partial profits, if this level is crossed, the rally can extend to $0.7644. So our bullish assumption will be invalidated if the XRP and USD pair turns around and breaks below the moving averages. In such a case, a drop to $0.42646 followed by a fall to $0.37185 is probable. Therefore, traders can trail their stop loss higher to $0.45. Alright, next, BCH and USD. So Bitcoin Cash has pulled back from the overhead resistance at $660.0753. We anticipate a strong support between the 20-day EMA and $500, um, $500 which is the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement level at the recent rally. The bounce from the current level might retest $660.0753 once again. So a breakout will start a new uptrend, whereas a failure will keep the virtual currency in a large range of 408.0182 to 660.0753 dollars. All right. So in the contrary to our opinion, if the BCH and USD pair breaks $500, the upward move will lose strength. So the next support level on the downside is $460 and if this level breaks a complete retracement of the recently rally um, to $410.2768 is probable. Therefore traders who have partial positions left can keep a stop loss of about $480 which is just below the 50 day SMA. Okay, so guys, next, EOS, my favorite coin, EOS and USD. <coughs> EOS has been trading close to the midpoint of the range for the past three days. Both moving averages have flattened out and are close to each other. The RSI is also close to the 50 levels, which shows equilibrium between demand and supply. We won't be able to find any new trades for as long as the EOS and USD pair stays between $5 and $6. If it breaks out of the, um, this tight range, it will increase the probability of a rally to $6.8299. A reversal will be confirmed when the price sustains above $6.8299 um, for three days. So on the other hand, a break below $5 can result in a dip to the next support at $4.49, below which a retest of the $3.8723 um, will be on um, will be on the cards. So therefore, traders who own long positions can keep a stop loss of $4.9 on their existing positions. Okay. Next, XLM and USD. So Stellar is showing promise as it has formed an ascending channel. It triggered or busy suggested in the November 7 analysis. Right, it is currently facing resistance at the resistance light of the channel, yet it remains positive because both moving averages are sloping up. Hence, any pullback is likely to find support at the trend line and below that at the 20-day EMA. So if the XLM and USD pair breaks above the channel, it is likely to pick up momentum. 
breakout of the immediate resistance at $0.304 um, and rally towards its target objective of $0.36. So for now, we suggest keeping the stops at $0.2. We shall watch for a couple of days and then raise the stops higher. So guys, that's it. Now, LTC and USD. Litecoin continues to slide after turning down from the downtrend line of the descending triangle. It might retest the critical support zone at 47.246 uh, to 49.466 dollars once again. So this zone has held on four previous occasions. Hence, we anticipate this support to hold once again. Nevertheless, traders left with partial long positions on our recommendations can close them at $50. So if the bull succeed in holding the critical support zone and shows a sign of rebound, we might suggest to go long again. Our bullish view will be invalidated if the bear sank the LTC and USD pair below um, $47.246. In such a case, the downtrend will resume and can push prices to the next support levels at $40.32. All right, next, ADA and USD. So guys, for the past three days, Cardano has been trading close to the moving averages that have flattened out. The RSI is also just above the 50 levels. All these show a balance between the buyers and the sellers. So a new trend will start on a break out of $0.094256 or on a breakdown of the support at $0.060105. So between these two levels, random and volatile price action is likely to continue. The first sign of strength will be if the ADA and USD pair sustains above $0.082207. But however, we suggest traders wait for a new uptrend to start before initiating any long positions. All right. Now, um, to continue. Okay. All right. So, guys, to continue, <coughs> the attempt to pull back from close to um, $102.6 is facing resistance at the 20-day EMA. That's for XMR and USD. All right. If the bulls fail to scale the moving average, just Monero is likely to drop to the bottom of the tight range at $100.453. So guys, the XMR and USD pair has successfully held the support at $100.453 on a closing basis on three previous occasions. Therefore, we expect it to offer a strong support this time too. So however, contrary to our expectations, if the bears break below the range, a fall to the critical support at $81 is probable. Now on the upside, the bulls will again, uh, I mean, will gain the strength if the price sustains above $112.44. So we shall turn positive above $128.65. Currently, the virtual currency is not showing any reliable patterns that can be traded. Okay, <clears throat> last but not the least, TRX and USD. So guys, the range in Tron has been shrinking. It is currently trading between $0.02134798 and $0.02517782. So the RSI has also been moving between the levels of 40 and 60. So if the bulls defend 0 0.02134798 dollars, the uh, TRX and USD pair will again attempt to move to the top of the range at <coughs> 0 0.025177782 dollars. However, if the bears break below the bottom of the tight range, a drop to the critical support at $0.0183 is probable. A break below the support will resume the downtrend. We shall turn positive on the digital currency on a breakout and close at UTC timeframe above $0.03. Until then, 
we suggest traders remain on the sidelines so guys that has been the um, price analysis of November 12 for the top 10 coins all right all right so um, yes this these are the top 10 um, tokens or coins now I know that you want to check out more um, what's the you you want to know the status of more coins right more coins um, or if you like you can have the status of all coins now I have an answer for that okay now guys um, Please visit preferredcurrency.news for more updates and details, right? So when you when you visit preferredcurrency.news, you can subscribe, all right? So that when you subscribe, you will be the first one to get notified of the new updates. So guys, you can contact us directly through the website. Your name and email is required in your message as well. But if you like you can contact the man behind preferred currency news his name is donald lewis or donald the guru you can call his number at 801-601-8105 whatsapp 801-471-6939 you can add him on skype donald.fcda twitters um on, you can follow him on twitter at preferred crypto telegram channel preferred crypto dot news you can join us so if you like to talk to us and um you can send him a private message at preferred crypto and on the telegram right so guys let me show you uh, i told you earlier that i have a question i mean i have an answer to your problem or to your question how can i get the status of all the or how can i check how can I keep track the status of all the coins and tokens? All right. So also preferredcurrency.news. When you subscribe, that's the really the answer. Why? Because when you subscribe to preferredcurrency.news, we will be sending you a newsletter every day. So this is the newsletter um, that we will be sending this one via email. And that's 12 hours before we post videos here in our YouTube channel. Now, on the newsletter that you will be receiving, um, the articles of the day is available, not just of the day. You can also check the um, previous articles, right? And there are a lot of websites for you to check, guys. Okay, on the new this is on the newsletter, all right? Um, it is included on the newsletter, the websites that you, uh, maybe it can help your research because these websites are um, real, really li reliable. Like uh, if you want to add some of your listings, there's an available website. Um, when you would like to change some US dollars into Bitcoin and etc. All right. But guys, I believe that the, the best part of our newsletter is the Donna's research list. This is really the answer to your problems. Why? Let's check. Okay. Let's open Donald's research list here. Guys, Donald's research list is a spreadsheet. Yes, this is a spreadsheet. And this spreadsheet t tells you the status of every token and coin. Yes, you heard me right, guy. Every token and coin. Why? Because in here, you can this is a complete list of tokens and coins and you can see the status of the token for example let me show you why on the first column these are the names of the tokens or coins it is colored um, red have negative news orange or tan are neutral yellow are fair green have good news blue are showing the best news so when you subscribe you will be getting the letter along with the donald's research list now for example let me give you um for today bitcoin all right so what is the status of bitcoin 
now you is the recent price it's 63 point um 63 68 point six six four three nine zero six seven share of total market volume is zero point three three eight three eight six seven three um google searches compared to the past seven days it's 82 percent it's crossing down 50 for sma movement Number of positive technical indicators for 24 hours, current volume versus price 7.55, 7 days weekly volume versus price it's 940.54, 30 days volume versus price it's 64.05 and percent issued it's 82.73% right so um i gave to you the news earlier for the price analysis um last november 12 all right so right now as of november 14 let's check what's the status of ea so just simply click in your keyboards control f and then type eos there so for eos today Ooh, it's also showing the best news because it's colored blue and as you can see on the row of eos guys it's showing a lot of green and of course blue that means it's really showing a very 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 good news all right so for eos you is the recent price 5.37999749 share of total market volume is 0 0.0529380 google searches compared to those um, past seven days it's 97 percent um 50 um candle sma movement it's crossing up 50 number of positive technical indicators one 24 hours grand volume versus price it's 8.39 seven days volume versus price it's 10.62 30 days volume versus price it's 39.5 and percent issued it's 90.06 percent right let's see another dav i like dav all right so for dab today yes it's also showing the best news because it's colored blue use your recent price 0 0.00657524 share of total market volume is 0 0.00001102 zero percent full google searches compared to the past seven days it's also crossing up 50 number of positive technical indicators one 24 hours volume versus price it's 89.06 seven days volume versus price it's 4.84 30 days volume versus price is 0 0.17 and percent as should is 32.94 percent right so guys just imagine um you can have all these informations every day we will be the one to notify you from your email that hey um hey subscriber um we have the current news for you today in the crypto world and we will also be showing you the dollars research list so that you can keep track of the status of your favorite tokens or coins right that easy that so with that guys um <coughs> excuse me you can subscribe using your preferred method you can use your PayPal for monthly recurring $15 per month fiat or you can use the coinbase option which is that's for $180 annual subscription to be paid with your favorite crypto so just imagine Donald is doing all the tasks for you all the uh, work for you with only fifteen dollars all right with only fifteen dollars and that's not daily okay it's monthly 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 fifteen dollars per month yeah that's per month fiat all right so guys um visit now preferredcurrency.news and subscribe all right so that you can have a happy life happy life um less hassle right very convenient okay so guys by the way donald's research list cannot be found anywhere else on the internet only here at preferred currency news and um you can have all the information in just one newsletter just imagine okay so guys that's it for today's news and current updates now um 
just a reminder we are not here to we are not here to recommend anything to you for you to buy or invest all right because we are not financial advisors so we highly recommend that you do your own research okay and you can decide for yourself all right okay so guys thank you so much for watching this video and i hope you liked my video so please don't forget to hit that like button all right and subscribe this has been alex thank you and goodbye